Hello, this is your Manoj Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Aeronautical Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this session, we are going to discuss about a topic in advanced propulsion. The topic is modes of operation of ramjet engine. The modes of operation of ramjet engine are three. There are three distinct conditions under which a ramjet engine diffuser can operate, which is depending on the heat released in the combustor or combustion chamber. The three conditions are, the first one is the critical operation, second one subcritical operation and the last one is the supercritical operation. Before going to the condition, okay, let me explain one thing. If we are going to design an engine, okay, it which have it will always have an one design condition. That means if I am going to design a ramjet engine which is going to operate between 4 mag to 5 mag. Okay. If it's operate at that condition, that means between 4 and 5 mag means it will be very efficient. Okay, if it's operate below that means there will be a drop in efficiency. If it operate above that condition means there also be some drop in efficiency. That's what we're going to discuss here. The first condition is critical operation. Okay, if you see here means, okay, this is the inlet of ramjet engine. This is the spike. Okay. Here, due to the supersonic flow, okay, here we have an oblique shock in the mouth, okay, like from here to this, this inlet section, okay, and normal shock also formed at the face of it, okay, like this, okay, this is an efficient design condition, okay, this is due to the heat released in the combustion. That means if the ramjet operate at its design condition means okay flow comes inside the engine at its design condition. That means if it's operate between 4 to 5 mac means we have a flow of 4 to 5 mac. Okay and at that condition when the heat released in the combustion chamber is just enough that the back pressure at the exit section of the subsonic diffuser cause the normal shock to be positioned at the inlet throat as we saw on that picture. If it form on that region means we have a sufficient flow inside the combustion chamber as per the design condition. There will not be spillage in the flow. Okay, So we have a best performance in the combustion. This is known as design condition of ramjet or else called as critical operation. The next one is subcritical operation. Okay, subcritical operation means if an engine works below the design condition, that means if we, if we consider the design condition is between a 4 to 5 mag, means if it's operate the speed below 4 mag, okay, we have this subcritical operation or subcritical condition. If you see here means Okay, in the previous picture, okay, this oblique and normal shock is that exactly placed in this mouth or inlet condition. Okay, but here we have a gap. That means that will lead to this privilege of air. That means we may lose some flow there. Okay, so this condition will exist only the flow is below the design condition. Okay, this is because here the heat release in the combustion chamber is increased okay because the flow is very much reduced when compared to the design condition so the static pressure at the exit of subsonic diffuser is greater than the achieved under the design condition the normal shock wave moves upstream okay is expelled from the diffuser and continues to move toward the vertex of the subsonic diffuser Behind the normal shock wave, the flow is subsonic. 
Since the shock wave is detached from the inlet, the incoming air spills over the cowl of the diffuser, which increasing vehicle drag and possible leading to instability of the engine. This is due to the engine operation below the design condition. The next condition is supercritical condition. Okay, if an engine operate above the design condition, okay, for example, if we the design condition is four to five, okay, we can keep up to six mag. Four to six mag means if an engine operate more than six mag, that means in for example seven or seven point five mag. Okay, during the compact condition, engine can go through those design speeds also above the design speeds. Okay, if it operates above seven mag means we have this condition. If you see here means if you see here means the oblique shock is exactly placed there, but the normal shock goes inside the combustion chamber, or else it placed just before the combustion chamber. But it's go inside the subsonic diffuser like this. Okay, this is due to when the heat released in the combustor is decreased. For example, when an aircraft having design condition between four to six mag means okay during heavy combat condition, it will operate above the design condition. For example, above mag seven. Okay. On those case, the flow inside the combustion chamber is more. Okay, that means when we burn the fuel air mixture, means the heat release will be very much decreased. Okay, on the case, the back pressure at the outlet section of the diffusion system becomes too small to maintain the shock wave at the inlet. The excess pressure associated with the internal flow. Must therefore be dissipated inside the diffusion system by a strong shock wave forming in the diverging portion of the diffuser. In other ways, in other words, the normal shock just moves into the inlet. The condition of maximum pressure recovery at maximum mass flow rate is termed as critical point or critical operation. Otherwise called as design operating condition. Okay, the condition of operation at low flow rate is subcritical operation, or else we can called as low speed operating condition. The next one is the operation at maximum flow rate but low pressure recovery is termed as supercritical operation. That means we can also call it as very high speed operation okay here the critical operation is the best one where we have much more efficiency the other two or will lead to instability thank you